want the 50 quote fast to be between moderate and strong. Okay. It's not a truly sprint. Okay. I just want the legs to get some more. Wait, Carolyn, what am I doing? You are going to be Come on, I don't know where my son is. Um, Abby got pneumonia when she was four, and it was just a typical kid's pneumonia, and she was in the hospital overnight, came home, and a few days later, she started falling at school, and they called us, and um, what ended up happening is when her body was fighting off the pneumonia, the antibodies fought it so hard that it attacked the myelin sheath on her spinal cord and left her paralyzed. Um, when she was first getting affected, she was paralyzed from about the chest down. Arms and hands were also affected. Um, those came back really quick, but her legs did not. She has no use of her left leg from hip down and very little from hip to knee on her right leg and nothing and everything from knee to foot on her right leg. It's very bizarre. When she was nine, she started swimming with the BG Gators, Bowling Green Swim Club, and they, I, I literally can't say enough, they have been amazing. Um, they don't really treat her any different. They uh, make her do everything unless she literally can't do it. Um, she swims just as long as they do, the rest of the team every day. Um, so this year, now that she's in high school, she is a freshman and she wanted to swim for Hot Seago. And so Hot Seago was great and they let her swim for them. We don't have a swim team, but they created a club for her. So she swims with the BG and Anthony Wayne kids every day and she competes with them in all the OHSAA meets and um, she earned her varsity letter from Hot Seago. Um, so it's been great. And then outside of swimming for the club and for the school, she competes a lot in Paralympic or adaptive swimming. Um, so a lot of those meets you have to have time cuts. And so she has had those. So she uh, travels quite a bit to uh, Can-Ams is what they're called. And that's the Americas in Canada. Um, we went to Charlotte in December. For that, last year went to Miami and Toronto, no, not Toronto, Windsor. Um, she will be swimming in the World Series swim, which is a para swim meet, and that's in Indianapolis, and you'll have all your Paralympians there. Um, last year, I believe 13 countries were represented. It's a big meet. It's kind of, I was a little stressed being there to watch, but I can honestly say that I, I feel like swimming saved her. If she didn't swim, I don't. She's involved in a lot of other things, you know, FFA and 4-H, and she shows animals, and yeah, she throws shot at school, but I really think swimming, if she didn't have swimming, I don't know where she'd be. I, I can't thank Carolyn and George and Gary enough for everything, for just treating her like everybody else. But in the beginning, those first few meets, kind of a collective hush would come over when she'd come up with her crutches and get on a block, and she sits on the block to dive in and they'd kind of just look and wonder what was going on. We don't experience that anymore because everybody's seen her because she's been swimming so long. But it's been, it's nice not to get the stares because she's been around so long and everybody just kind of feels comfortable with her at this point. And she's very open. She'll always answer a question. If anybody has a question, she'll answer it. She doesn't care.
I didn't like it at first, but after a while I was like, I like this, <laughs> this is my thing. I think that's what I figured out. I figured out like more of the Paralympic meets that I could do and that it wasn't just club meets where I was way behind. I could do my own thing. Uh, so high school just ended. I was the only one on the at Go team, but I swim with uh, five other schools, so I wasn't like practicing alone or anything. Um, we went to a ton of different meets, you know, all over like Northwest Ohio. Uh, just had sectionals three weeks ago, maybe. I dropped a ton of time there, so I was really impressed. And then uh, I'm still swimming because I got some of my uh, big para meets coming up, like going to Indy for the World Series. And uh, my future goal is to try to get to Tokyo in two years. Uh, so I don't kick at all when I swim, and I, since I have no control over my left leg, it just kind of floats behind me, and I can't control where it goes because I'm not going to spend time on working on that when I'm trying to go fast. So uh, I feel like in backstroke, when I'm like on my back, my leg just follows in line with my body, like just easier, and just makes me go faster and more fluent in the water.